Welcome back to the Spanless Gamer. Today we are playing Double Dragon for the NES, which came out in 1988. And everybody's familiar with Double Dragon, right? Uh, so Double Dragon, there's the front of the box. Uh, two bros elbow bumping their knife with knives in their hand. I don't know. Uh, back of the box, you'll never have to stand in line to play Double Dragon again. I don't think I ever did. Double Dragon has been America's top arcade hit for the last four months, 1987. And Double Dragon, the story of Billy and Jimmy Lee, twin brothers who learned to fight in the cold, tough streets of the city. Their expert knowledge of martial arts combined with their street smarts has made them both formidable fighting machines. But now Billy is faced with the greatest challenge of his, his, his uh, greatest challenge, his girlfriend. She is a challenge. Marion has been kidnapped by the Black Warriors, a savage street gang of mysterious shadow boss. Using whatever weapons come to hand, knives, whips, bats, rocks, and all, and drums, oil drums, um, even dynamite. Billy must pursue the gang through the slums, factories, and wooded outskirts of the city to reach the hideout of the final confrontation with the shadow boss, his brother Jimmy. Spoiler alert, guys, it's just ruined the game at the very box that you're trying to sell me on. <sighs> So this is a spiritual sequel to Renegade, which we played earlier and did not like. Um, also, this game has been released on every console under the sun. Um, and uh, Slope's Game Room did a pretty cool history of Double Dragon um, that you check out. So it's cool. Let's play it. Let's see what it's like. Oh, another fun fact. They made a movie based on this game that takes place in my hometown of Cleveland, Ohio. It's a really, really bad movie. Actually, it doesn't take place. They shot it in Cleveland. My bad. Spoiler alert, indeed. Okay, for some reason, select is how you get to the next mode. What a great like plot to like a grindhouse movie that would be. Dude just punches your girlfriend, takes her, you don't even know who it is, and then all of a sudden you have to fight all these dudes. That's all you need for a plot. Much, much better than Renegade already. And I have played this before. Cooper is, uh, snoring again over there. Hey! Listen, lady. Oh my god! Half his legs have disappeared! Yeah, now I have a barrel. Oh, I dropped it on my head. Pretty cool music. Both buttons together make you jump. That's not my favorite control method, but... Considering the type of game this is and the different moves you have access to, I guess it makes sense. What? Uh, okay. Watch it, ladies. There's a teleporter at the top of that wall. Look at me! Teleporting! Teleportating. Teleport. That's the word. Whoa! You didn't even let me walk in the door and they're beating me up. Urgh! Take that! Yeah! Oh no! Big dude! Uh -huh. 
You're gonna fall off the edge, big guy. Nope. Yes! Yay! So... I think I... I win. Oh, my lights are working. Well... What is TJC? I don't know what that stands for. Now it says out on the other side. Thumbs up! Alright! Ah! He just threw dynamite in my face! I'm gonna climb this fence today. Walk over here. I have a baseball bat! It looks more like one of those plastic kids' toys. Let's not do that again. Hi. I like your purple plastic bat. Oh. Yeah, I have a baseball bat now. Oh, dynamite beats bat. Baseball bat didn't kill him very quickly. Oh, my bat went away. That's not cool. Now I have a whip. I have a string of red licorice. I'm going to hit you with. Yeah, climb up here and get me. That's what I thought. Oh, no, they're coming. I thought there was a glitch in this game where things would have follow you. Up ladders. I'm so wrong. That's okay. They're gone. Oh, nope. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to fight him. These are these uh, special two-person two ladders? Oh, you're still alive. Ah! Oh, my whip went away. See you, dude. Maybe this is the guy. He won't chase you down ladders? Is that it? Ha <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Oof! Knife to the eye! Get out of that tree, dude. Well, I think we've played enough of this game because, let's face it, we know the ending because the box told us the ending. Uh, graphics, I'm gonna give them a five and a half. Sound, uh, a seven. A music, an eight and a half. Story, uh, it's simple, but it works. I like it. Just a story of revenge. A five. Controls, um, they're pretty good. A four and a half. Funness, I give it a five and a half. Does it hold my attention? Uh, as you can tell by how long I played it, it does. Um, so we're going to give it a six. And overall, Double Dragon for the NES gets a...